Hey guys, it's Hollywood from Wrestlelicious. Also, glow. I just want to say you're listening to InYourHeadOnline.com. That is InYourHeadOnline.com. Thanks for stopping by. All right, we are back, and we're joined by Babe, the farmer's daughter, from the gorgeous ladies of wrestling. Welcome to In Your Head. Oh, thank you very much. This is Babe, the farmer's daughter here. Uh, how you doing how tonight? How y'all doing? I'm doing great. How are you? I'm good. Uh, you still go by Babe? Absolutely. More than, than Ursula. I don't know who <laughs> Ursula is. Babe's so much more fun. Oh, yeah. No, yeah. uh, wh- wh- Babe where can did... get away with anything. <laughs> Where did the whole farmer's daughter uh, uh, name come from? Where did it come from? I, it's an old name, you know. Movies, uh, there's, there's the farmer's daughter, and I, you know, I wondered up myself where the director came up with the names. Um, I'm not exactly sure. I know that there was a babe uh, uh, Richardson, I believe is her last name. She was a huge sports person back in the day in the '40s. And he might have uh, gotten Babe the Farmer's Daughter from that. But I don't know. That's a good question. Yeah. I'm wondering it myself. <laughs> Do we, we never found out who the farmer was. The farmer? Yeah. I don't think all these daughters. My dad, we didn't know who the, the farmer. farmer. Right. You don't, want to meet, you don't want to meet Babe the Farmer's Daughter's dad. <laughs> That's for sure. All right. I'm in a shotgun. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> did, uh, did you get along with the other, uh, the other farmer's daughters? Um, yes, very, very much so. Um, Amy and Sally and I are very close. Um, I'm actually looking for them today because we want, lost contact a few years ago because um, we're doing a documentary series on GLOW. Mm-hmm. Uh, we've interviewed, uh, Windows Production is doing this documentary, and we've interviewed a ton of GLOW girls, Matilda, Fiji, Hollywood, Lightning, I hope I don't forget anybody. Uh, Gremlina, Ashley Cartier, Cheyenne Cher, Susie, Nanuchka, Godiva, Little Egypt, of course. She said she's in the chat room right now. Mm-hmm. Uh, MTV, Jailbait, who else? Uh, Corporal Kelly, The Housewives, who you all, I don't know if you all know, play Chainsaw on Spike also. And Tiffany Mellon, Roxy Astor, Tulsa. I know the list keeps, keeps glowing. Yeah. Um, I'm adding well- to it. It seems like weekly another glow girl will contact me and i'm hoping sally and amy will we're, we're little egypt and i are uh, working together to put a reunion on mm-hmm. well, uh so is, we're, we're hunting down girls uh like well, trying, what made you decide to do like a reunion show and, and a documentary about glow uh it's just in my blood i just love wrestling i love the whole entertainment on it and since i bought the company in 2001 um i've just been working diligently uh trying to to get a new show back up um we're actually pitching right now finally pitching the show to networks and um then a, a company called windows production contacted me and and uh yeah i was very excited about it it's, it's awesome they've interviewed all these glow girls and it's going to be just a great great documentary I'm really uh, excited and can't wait till it's done. Uh, um, did you always know, like, you know, Glow had such a following that people no. still remember? <laughs> no. No. you just find about recently? No. Yeah. no they, they pretty much kept us in the dark, I guess, because they didn't want us to get a big head. I didn't realize, really, how popular Glow was until after the fact. Actually, when I did Donahue, I think I realized, you know, this, this is more popular than anybody's letting, leading us to believe any of the girls. Mm-hmm. I think they thought we would have asked for more money. <laughs> <laughs> right. Now, I guess uh, when, like, you got online and you started seeing, did, like, a lot of fans, like, contact you and you realized it was, you know, even bigger than what you thought? Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Um, I'm just amazed. I mean, I make my living off selling um, the Glow DVDs, the classic Glow. Mm-hmm. And uh, it's just, it's fabulous. I mean, I love my job. Still wrestling at Rick Drayson's wrestling school in Sherman Oaks, and uh, it's just I just love it. I'm, I'm so happy that I have a job that I really really like. Yeah, yeah, uh, you can get those off uh, GorgeousLadiesWrestling.com, and mm-hmm. I believe they're Glow put up or GlowGirls GlowGirls TV is shorter. <laughs> okay. GlowGirls TV. Yeah. GorgeousLadiesOfWrestling.com. 
All right, we'll put both links up on the website. It's definitely gorgeous, if not glorious. <laughs> <laughs> right, right. Um, does that bring you to some uh, a different type of website, I guess? I'm sorry? Uh, I, I was just wondering if you put glorious, if that brought you to uh, maybe a website for adults. Mm, maybe. I don't know. I've never checked gloriousladiesofwrestling.com, uh, okay. but I'm sure there probably is one. You're being very you saucy it? tonight, Jack. Oh, man. Hey, Barbie, you got a question? She wants to hear that uh, accent. Oh, Barbie? all right. Then. Yeah. So, were there any of the girls that you got to interview that you never thought in a million years would show up again? People that you hadn't heard of since Glow stopped producing or anything like that? No, everyone has been very positive about the documentary and, and getting all the girls back together again. Nobody has said no. Um, you know, everybody really... You know, it, Glow is in our hearts, you know, it's like great time of our lives and uh you know um yeah they, they're all very supportive of glow, of glow. You know, nobody's um said no when we've contacted them to do the documentary yeah now um you said you weren't sure who came up with the name and everything but uh who came up with all the uh the raps the girl a lot of the girls wrote them themselves but the the writer if we'd get stuck or, you know, couldn't think of a line, we'd, we'd go to Steve Blance, our, our writer, who we just interviewed, too, for the documentary, by the way. And we'll be bringing him back, too, with, uh, with the new, all-new Glow show and a reality show that I'm, I'm working on. I hate calling it a reality show. It's, it's more behind Glow's doors, I like to call it. But um, So he would help out if we ever got stuck. But for the most part, the Glow, the Glow girls uh, wrote their own raps. Mm-hmm. Uh, did you enjoy it? Did you write your own? I'm sorry? Did you uh, write yours? Uh, he helped me out with a few lines. Um, we we kind of went back and forth, Steve and I. Mm-hmm. But yeah, I did. And, and, and he had some input on it, too. I can't remember which lines he, he came up with. but yeah. We got, a, we got a couple callers here on the line. Let's uh, see what they got to say. We got Mike on the line. Yeah, Mike. Hey, babe. Hey, how you doing, Mike? Good. You remember me? Are you my roommate? No. <laughs> my roommate's <laughs> name is Mike. <laughs> I talked to you on the phone probably What's in Mike, January. Mike? Mike Rand? Huh? Like, I'm on your Facebook? Uh, uh, from Facebook? Yeah. Oh, yes. Mm-hmm. The name is ringing a bell now. Yes, I do. And, and like, I talked to you earlier in the year, like, uh, told me about my parents and stuff like that. And I ordered yeah, some DVDs doing? from you. Good, how are you? Yeah. I'm, I'm I was, good. I was wondering, because um, I was hearing about this documentary and stuff, I was wondering if you could tell me a little more about it and just, like, when do you think, like, is it going to be something released in the stores or through the website? And have you ever well, thought about just, like, maybe writing, like, a book about the experience of Glow and stuff like that? Yeah, I've thought about that, and that, that probably will happen in the future sometime. Um, the documentary... Can you ask me the question again? The, the documentary people, what? Um, just like, like what is the document? Like, I know it's about Glow, but just like, um, is it going to be like something that's going to be released in the stores, oh. or? Um, the, the the film festivals is what they're shooting for. Okay. Um, and and then yeah, eventually I'm sure they'll try to release it. Um, but basically, uh, they work with film festivals, and they did the Rock of Fire explosion, and it did really really well at the film festivals. So. That's where they're going to start off with Glow. Um, we're not we're not really doing it um, for money. We're doing it because we want to, and and we want to get you know Glow's name back out there again that we're here and etc. Will, will us fans be able to see this documentary? Oh sure, yeah. They'll they'll release the DVD. And you'll be able to get okay. it through the Glow site. Definitely. Are you going to be love- ordering your copy, Mike? Yes, I love Glow. I had so much fun watching it as a kid. <laughs> yeah, it's a fun show. I had a lot of fun doing it, too. Like, we really enjoyed it. It was, like, so much fun growing up watching Glow. And um, also, like, you've heard about, like, Wrestlelicious. What are your thoughts on, like, this new uh, wave that's coming out? Uh, I really have no no thoughts on it. I mean, uh... You kind of copied the rap idea. I don't know if you've seen any of the... Uh, the YouTube videos, but they kind of took the uh, Glow's uh, rap idea with the song at the beginning and each of the... Yeah, I've heard. Like, I haven't 
I haven't watched any of the clips of Restless, just but what people have told me that it's a lot like Glow. Yeah. And I'm not worried. You know, people imitate. Imitation is the the best form of flattery. You oh. know, obviously, they're copying us because it's it's a good formula. Um, yeah. Yeah. And, and is it okay if they for us? Delicious. Then, then why would they want the real deal? <laughs> right. Yeah. You, yeah. <laughs> you, you don't mind if us fans put YouTube clips up, do you? No, I don't. Absolutely not. I mean, that, the fans are what keeps us alive and going, and and the clips on YouTube are awesome. Uh, yeah, because I've been talking to like on it brings Facebook. New, it brings new fans in, and and the old fans really love watching it. And you know, the YouTube hits are amazing. How many? viewers we're getting on YouTube and just love it. Yeah, it's so nice. Everybody that I've met... I'm sorry to interrupt. <laughs> it's okay. No, no problem. I, I was just everybody gonna say, that, like, everybody that I've met, like, through Facebook, like, all, you know, like, Daisy, Godiva, everybody, yeah. like, everybody's been so friendly and nice with the fans. Oh, like, Daisy, we really, like, appreciate it. Daisy wasn't on my list. Then I, when I mentioned, yeah, Daisy was interviewed by the documentary people, too. She's awesome. She's still wrestling. Hollywood's still wrestling. Lightning's still wrestling. I'm still wrestling. Roxy's still wrestling. Mm-hmm. Tulsa's still doing stunt work out of Houston. And, now, how um, did you get involved in the wrestling, like, wrestling. with GLOW? Were you, uh, were you a wrestler before GLOW started? No, I don't think there was really any female. Well, there was, you know, I take that back. But I, I auditioned um, like everybody else did. And, mm-hmm. Like, was wrestling something you were interested in, or um, acting? I, I back then. Now wrestling's yeah. my life. You know, um, Glow taught me a, an awesome sport, uh, fun. I loved it, wrestling. It's just it's in my blood. But it wasn't in my blood before. I was a little nervous. I'm like, you mean like those g- big guys do on TV? Those big huge guys that beat each other up? You want me to do that? <laughs> you know? Right. And I'm like, uh, I don't know, but. But you can come to Vegas, and, and um, my friend, she was saying, an audition, and I, I have my own room in the Riviera, and you can stay with me. And I'm like, I, I don't know. This is dementia, <laughs> and uh, the first dementia. Mm-hmm. So I said, well, what the hell? It sounds fun. I'll give it a try. I, you know, as long as I don't break any bones, which thank God I never did. Yeah, I was going to ask, uh, did you have any injuries uh, when you were training or when you were wrestling? Um, minor, you know muscle problem, you know, ankle problems, um, you know, minor muscle injuries, what? but nothing major, thank goodness. Um, when I was rehearsing and training for the El Rey show in 2003, I uh, messed up my hip. I wasn't even sure if I was going to be able to do the show. Um, but uh, a week later, it would have been like six weeks, I couldn't walk. But about a week before it finally broke, the pain went away. Um, I had it X-rayed. There was no nothing broken, but it was just a, a you know serious muscle, my hip injury. And then that healed up a week before the show, and I was able to to perform as Donna Matrix. We were short uh, a bad girl, so I, I wrestled Roxy as a as Donna Matrix, a bad girl. Mm-hmm. Uh, who else we got on the line? We got uh, we got Joel from Portugal. From Portugal. Wow. Hi, Joel. Hello. Hello How there. are you? Hi. I'm doing. I'm doing quite fine. How about you? I'm doing great. Oh yes. Um, I really have one question um, that I, I kind of thought at the time when I heard about Glow. Um, was Glow f- uh, created uh, because at that time in the eighties it was um, one promotion in Japan called All Japan Women's Pro Wrestling. Was it created because it was quite successful there in Japan? It was try in it. Then it was was it tried to <laughs> try to see if it make if it would work in uh, in America? Because I, I if I'm not mistaken, I saw Glow wrestlers in, trying to uh, work in Japan. I don't know if. Maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. Yes, no, if you're right. You're absolutely right. A few of the Glow Girls did go to Japan and wrestle over there, mm-hmm. and the Philippines. And, yeah, mm-hmm. I re- I've wrestled in Russia. I mean, I've been all over the world, thanks to Glow. Um, was, well, it... was Glow created because of the, mm-hmm. the big, you know, draw in Japan with the women's mm-hmm. wrestling? Possibly had a lot to do with it. I know David mm-hmm. McLean was a huge men's wrestling fan, and he's the the one that got the idea in his mm-hmm. head to do, you know, women's wrestling in the States. 
which really never had been done before. I mean, there was independent ones, but nothing that was on TV. Um, so he hooked up with a man named Matt Simber, who hooked him up with our financier, uh, Michelle and Rickless. And they all, those three um, were the heavy hitters that, that got together and made it happen. They thought it was a good idea, and obviously they were right. How was it to work in Japan? Was it a lot? Uh, was it from I a physical to standpoint? Japan. I, oh, I would yeah. love to go uh, wrestle in Japan, but I uh, I didn't go. Um, it was Tulsa. I think Hollywood might have gone. A I, lot of girls I, went to Panama. It was I've huge some, in Panama. There was like ten thousand people at when they went to do an interview at the the baseball stadium. They said that they were just swamped. It was like the Beatles, and they they came around the van, all thousands of people surrounded their van and the girl girls kind of got scared <laughs> because uh, they were just swamped yeah it's huge hmm. in, uh, interesting yeah. well the more you learn <laughs> thanks for coming right. Joel thank you take Goodbye. care buddy yeah. uh, I think Mike's uh, Mike did you have anything else before I let you go oh you still have Mike on the line too yeah he's how many callers can you have at once <laughs> yeah <laughs> We actually had some more, but uh, they hung up. If you were if you were on the line, if we had you to hold, just call back in. The number is 508-644-8503. I, I did have one question. Mm-hmm. Let's hear it, Mike. Um, I, I was wondering about winning the DVD. <laughs> oh, yeah. You'll be entered into win the DVD. Everybody called in tonight. Oh, it's an entry. Oh, okay. Right. Mm-hmm. We'll, we'll pick right. it up oh. at the end of the show, okay? Can I, can I ask one more quick question for Babe? Sure. All right. Absolutely. Um, you know, you mentioned you were friends with the first dementia. Yeah. Um, she, she also played sugar. Yes, she okay. did. Very good. Yeah. Um, you know how did the, how did the heavy metal sisters like? I remember there was a plot line that Sugar's face was burned. How did how did like they actually play with fire and nobody actually? I mean, that wasn't real, was it? Magic, darling. Because <laughs> <laughs> I always really watched that, that, and I'm like, my God, that. how? Can, how did these girls not really burn their faces? <laughs> no, uh, it's magic. Mm. She's okay. okay. You, don't have, you don't have to worry. Her face is okay. She had skin grafts. So okay. Be all right. Thanks, Mike. All right. Thank you very much. Yeah. All right. Thanks, Mike. All right. Take, Take care. care. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Uh, who, who trained uh, you and the, the other wrestlers? Mm, the first glow, glow girl to train me was Nanuchka. And then uh, Attaché. They were extremely good wrestlers and the new kids on the block that came in. They, they, those two were the heavy hitters as far as training us. Um, I was trained by a, a man wrestler when I was in POW, but I honestly am sorry to say I cannot remember his name. Um, but he, he was the one that first introduced me to... Well, actually, Nino did first, Nanuchka and Attaché and Glow, but then I came at the end of Season 2, and they, they shut down for hiatus, and uh, so I went over to PAL. And they, they uh, started training me over there. I learned a lot from, from the PAL show as far as wrestling. It really um, helped me come up a lot. And, and even today, I mean, I'm a much better wrestler today than um, I was back then, you know, because you grow and... Mm-hmm. The more practice well, you do, the better you get. So, and I'm still was, wrestling. And, was it hard to work on the ro- uh, in the ring with the ropes? Because I, I remember the ropes were pretty loose and glow. Um, I no, I don't. I don't really remember having a problem with the ropes or the ring at all. Actually. Yeah. Uh, Barbie, you got something from the board? Absolutely. One of our fans, Figure Eight, wants to know what was it like working uh, with Jackie Stallone. Oh, gosh, she's just fabulous. I just love her. Um, yeah, she's she's on our list, too, for the documentary to go interview her. She's just a really sweet and wonderful lady. I, I was going through all our talk shows and um, putting it together for the documentary people and, she, and Donahue when she was on there, and she's just such a kick. She's so funny. Um, they, one of the fans called in over the air on Donahue and asked her, well, what does your son, Sylvester Stallone, think of you doing this? She's like, like, I care what he thinks. <laughs> oh, my God. It was awesome. She says that my grandson uh, loves it, and that, that's all she cares about. I'm like, oh, yeah. that's so awesome. 
Rambo doesn't tell his mother what to do. <laughs> no. Uh. Nobody tells Jackie what to do. She manages the glow girls, you know? Well, what did your family think about you when you get into wrestling? Uh, my mom loved it. I mean, she taped every show. Um, she's just, she, she'd just drive out from L.A. to Vegas to see our shows as much as she could. She just passed away in November, so it's kind of a hard topic for me. I miss her so much, but um, she was very supportive. She actually made my, my farmer's daughter top, top that I still have today. She's a, she was a fabulous seamstress and very supportive. My, you know, whatever I, I would do, my mom was, was supportive. Mm-hmm. Uh, we got, I call her, get Swax on the line. What's going Swax? on, people? Hey, Swax. How you doing? I'm doing good. How are you? Good. Uh, I just want to coin to say that um, I'm a very big Glow fan, and Thank I remember you. the the back in the, the 80s when that um, uh, that uh, 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 what the, Hollywood and Vine and all the rest, uh, even when uh, yes, I'm looking uh, for Vine still. Vine is not on my list. I would love to. If anybody's out there listening that knows where any of the Glow girls are that I didn't mention. Uh, please, please contact GlowGirls.tv and let me know where they are. Plus, they had uh, Tina Ferrari, known mm-hmm. as um, Ivory in the WWE. Yes, I need to find Tina too. You're naming names that uh, I'm, I'm hunting for. So. And uh, uh, Nanuchka too. Nanuchka, I'm, I'm in contact with Nanuchka. She's living in Las Vegas. That's and, no good uh, swag. She, she's definitely on board for a reunion. As well as uh, plus, I got uh, all your Glow DVDs uh, that uh, I don't know if it's you running the the, the merchandise website or not. Uh, yes, but I all- it's me. I, I, I custom package every DVD that's ordered over the Internet, unless it was uh, released by Big Vision. Um I I burn each DVD slowly. I don't to keep quality, you know, because they were old shows. But the quality is incredible that I release on GlowGirls.tv. And um, is uh I, David I, is David yeah. McLean still alive? Oh yeah, yeah. We I just talked to him uh, a few weeks ago, and Little Egypt um, was talking to him about the reunion, and yeah, he's still he's still alive. Some I guess um, earlier they said it would have been good if you would have turned heel. If you would have turned evil? Yeah. An evil huh. David McLean. <clears throat> yeah, maybe so. Yeah, Little <laughs> Egypt thought it was funny. Little because uh, maybe uh, you thought and it was David... A funny idea. Yeah, because maybe you and David McLean might put out an ultimate like box set like for, for the whole glow. Well, unfortunately, he doesn't have all the masters, and neither do I. Um, I, I get that question all the time. Why aren't you releasing a box set? I said, because I don't have all the masters. Um, there was one set of masters, and old management is is not turning them over to me, even though they were requested to do so years ago. Um, it's, it's gotten to the point where uh, I could file a lawsuit against them, but, you know, I was hoping to avoid that. It's just... Uh, and, and what, what's their reasoning behind that? They just don't don't want to give them up? Or, Money. Yeah. Money. <laughs> it's usually the reason. Yeah, the root of all evil. And, and also, who can forget the infamous Super Bowl shuffle rap that you, you girls you did for your promos? Super Bowl? <laughs> now, you know something more than I do. What's the Super you, you know, Bowl the rap- shuffle? <laughs> yeah, you know, like the Chicago Bears uh, Super Bowl shuffle rap that I think he's just comparing the raps to the Super Bowl shuffle. Yeah. Okay. I think he's having a stroke. <laughs> Something's going wrong here, Swax. You've called him with a list. But you're just saying people's names and asking what? if they're what dead you... yet. <laughs> oh my gosh. He's, he's just excited to talk to the farmer's daughter. You can't blame the man. No, yeah, I it's... love it. The Super Bowl shuffle rap. I, I like that. I'm never going to forget uh-huh. that. It's, it's embedded in my brain forever now. Love you still it. wrestle with the Daisy Dukes on? I haven't for a while, but I'm planning on soon in the future. 
Oh, excellent. But I still am wrestling. Mm-hmm. Uh, where you said you uh, earlier you wrestled? Where, where exactly do you wrestle now? At Rick Drayson's wrestling school. Um, I have a match on YouTube that's current um, with Baby the Farmer's Daughter versus Fernando the Bull. Mm-hmm. I don't know if you guys have seen it. Mm. Check that out. Yeah, check so, it out. what do you think about these other women's divisions that are out today with uh, TNA and now the WWE? I love it. I love it. It's you know. It's ob- wrestling is obviously popular. That's why a lot of people want, people want to do it. It's good. It's After good. Uh, Glow ended, uh, did you ever have any talks about going to WWF or another company? Mm, no, I, I never thought to go over to WWF. Um, mm-hmm. It just wasn't on the agenda. I, I, I remember the- Glow. I, I love Glow with all the slapstick and comedy, and that, that's what, you know that's what really drew me to Glow was. The theatrics of it all, you yeah. know, it just wasn't too like in you know the forties and fifties to women and, and you know mm-hmm. just you know kind of. Oh, boring, I remember. Sorry th- to say, um, outfits. You know, I like the whole theatrics and of it all. It's just it's like a Vegas show. It is a Vegas <laughs> right. show. I, I remember that uh, Dave McLean opened up an other promotion called Wow Women's Wrestling. Mm-hmm. Uh, I don't know if you had any interest in going there when he, he opened up that uh No, federation. I actually didn't even know he was doing it at that time until I was uh, at a convention down in San Diego in, in my motel room. I was at a convention doing some glow um, promos, and uh, and uh, I turned on the TV. And I just, I just, well, I went in the shower. I turned on the TV, and I went in the shower, and I stepped out of the shower, and I hear David McLean's voice on TV. Like what the hell is this, David? What? what? Uh, you know, that's the first I heard. Of it. <laughs> uh, they had what? some uh, halfway decent wrestling uh, on that promotion because you know it was a, a involvement of real physicality when it came to uh, like women's wrestling because at the time, like uh, Sable and the WWF was the big uh, star there when when that Wow organization was. And uh, it was starting to evolve that physicality in the ring among women was starting to uh, become popular because, mm-hmm. like, the glow days, there wasn't a lot of physicality. There was a lot of um, basic maneuvers and a lot of entertainment. But now, these days, uh, starting from when Sable was the big star in wrestling till now, the physicality improved, and people want to see more physical physical women and a lot more talented women in wrestling. It's fascinating, Swan. <laughs> are you writing a book? Is it? Are you reading us a draft of a book you're writing about Glow? Come on, speed it along. You're getting to a point I can understand, but try and get there. Well, I, I'm just wondering what your you take is. You guys are mean. <laughs> yeah, you guys are mean. It's smart. We We're have to be mean. Bad. We will be here all night just talking, <laughs> rambling about Don't nothing. be mean to me. <laughs> you like you never be mean, mean to babe. <laughs> you don't want to be mean to babe, trust me. Right. <laughs> yes, so I'll tie you. You have to remember yes. that, babe. We have to put up with this I guy. I will hog tie you and beat your ass. Yeah. <laughs> You'll probably like it, though. I was going to say, yeah, uh, please. please. <laughs> All righty, Swax. Thanks for the call, then. Thanks for calling in, Swax. Okay, Thanks, Swax. Right. Thanks. I have a question from the message board. Afro Twinkie, he wants to know, what was it like working with Peggy Bundy? Oh, my God. It was awesome. <laughs> I, that was just such a thrill, meeting Al Bundy and Peg Bundy. And mm-hmm. Christina Applegate was just the sweetest. I couldn't believe how nice she was. She came in my dressing room, sat down, started talking to me, and I'm like, oh, my God, Christina Applegate's in here talking to me. <laughs> it, just, it was really neat. Yeah. I was very I, excited. I don't really recall the episode off the top of my head, but did did, did, you, did you have, like, a match with her or something like that? Uh, no, Big Bad Mama beat up Al Bundy. Oh, okay, okay. I, I Al Bundy thought that. he was going to have a match with me, and he's like, oh, I'm so scared, you know, ha, ha, ha. <laughs> and, uh... So I walk out to wrestle him, and then, and then he's like, oh, I'm so scared. And the announcer's like, yeah, you should be, because your opponent today <laughs> is Big Bad Mama. <laughs> he's like, oh, no. 
<laughs> now that you Peg's mention it, I, re- I recall that episode. I, I yeah, Peg, that. Peg's begging him uh, $10,000 if you win the match, Al, if you stay in for 10 minutes. <laughs> He's like, that's that's a, a dollar a pound, Peg. <laughs> 10,000 pounds. All right. <laughs> very, <laughs> very fun show. I just, when I, Married with Children before I was even on it was one of my most favorite shows ever. Like that and it. I Love Lucy. Mm-hmm. So I was just thrilled to be on Married with Children. Yeah. Uh, someone here in the chat room, WCW fan 2009, they want to know who's the, who is the real giant of the ring, Matilda, Mount Fiji, or Big Bad Mama? Oh, I have to say Mount Fiji because she's a good girl. Yeah. But we're, we're all heavy hitters, you know, one for all, one, all for one. Uh, Little Everybody Egypt wants to know if you remember any of your rap and if you could sing any of it. Oh, oh putting God. you on the spot here. <laughs> Uh, I know my current rap by heart. Hi, I'm Babe, the owner of Glow, and this time around I run the show. We're all so happy that Glow is back, so get on board or hit the road, Jack. <laughs> How do you like that, 24 Jack? <laughs> it was directed right at me. I like them. <laughs> right at you. How, how oh. would I know that? It must be psychic. Hmm. I'll have to cut that one out of the archive and we'll play it on the show each week. <laughs> well, well, funny. Barbie, do you have a rap for yourself? Uh, I'm, no. Gonna, I have gonna, a little bit of dignity left in me. That you've clawed out most of it, but I have some left. Please, can I keep it? Please. Uh, I don't know. Barbie's a good singer. I think, I think yeah. you want. Yeah, I think you want the babe to sing something for. Her. I yeah, I have nothing prepared. Uh, Serenade me. What I Oh, like, <laughs> uh, were I'm, you embarrassed? I, I'm shy? slightly embarrassed. No, no, I'm not. I wouldn't say I was shy so much as I have, I have no idea what to sing. Rockwell, uh, somebody's okay. watching me. What? I've never even heard of that song. <laughs> I always feel like somebody's watching me. That one. Oh yeah, I feel the same way. Michael Jackson was in it. <laughs> uh, well, we'll let Barbie think of a song here. Uh, yeah. Give him a chance. You're not getting out of this easy, Barb. <laughs> I was hoping I wasn't going to be put on the spot like that in this interview, you know. Uh, Zachary, who tried calling uh, what? you, but he, he wanted to know, uh, what was it like working with Beastie? Oh, Beastie was wild and crazy. But, uh, uh, I love her. You know, she's, yeah. she's a great gal. and She was just as wild in real life as she was in the ring. You know, the, the director really um, <clears throat> made made you what he saw in you. Mm-hmm. You know, I, I remember she showed up at auditions in, like, a pink tutu. She wanted to be, like, one of the good girls, the fluffy good girls. And he's like, no, you're going to shave the sides of your head, <laughs> and you're going to be called Beastie. <laughs> and, uh, I think she, she loved her character today. Yeah. Uh, was there... Was there any of the any of the girls you didn't get along with? I pretty much got along with everybody. There was nobody that I really, you know, disliked. No, mm-hmm. no there's got to be no, somebody. We were, we were one big... No, I'm, I swear. We were one big happy family. I'm uh-huh. sure there was, there was arguments. Most arguments uh, I knew were between Sally and Hollywood. Um, but it was just bickering stuff. It wasn't that they hated each other. It was just, you know... Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, did any of you uh, play any ribs on each other? A lot of times, uh, the male wrestlers have a lot of rib stories. Mm. Oh, like the uh, practical jokes. No, we were we were pretty good. Not that I can think of off the top of my head. More well behaved than, than the men. No, now that you mention it, though, I wish I would have <laughs> played some pranks. Yeah. Oh. No, that's a hot new TV show now, right? Hmm. Uh, Little Egypt. She also wants to know what was your signature move. Uh, well, the farmer's role was really popular with the farmer's daughter, and uh, I guess my supposed signature move was jumping off the ter- uh, the third rope on the turnbuckle and, and down on stomping their stomach. I don't know if you guys want to make up a name for that move. Go ahead, but yeah. the I'm big stomp and stomp. My signature thing. <laughs> it's very creative <laughs> there. <laughs> yeah, I wonder. the big stomp. I know. Think of a name of it for it. Yeah, that will be the contest. If someone but can think of a good name, you can a win. Good the name, game. yes. We need another wrestling move uh, name. Yeah. The glow girls would make up a lot of, like, 
we didn't know if we didn't know the professional name for it, we'd just make up our own our own name for whatever mood if we weren't sure what it was called or if we thought of something on our own mm-hmm. um, to do. You know, we'd, we'd just make up a name and it, that would circulate through all the Glow Girls, and that's what this movie was called. Yeah. Now, uh, text- yeah, I was just like, uh, you mentioned about, like, the new Glow. Now, I, I saw online, like, you guys were having tryouts at some point. Say again? Uh, weren't you guys, weren't you having, like, tryouts for the new Glow? Yes, we had auditions, and, and we are, are shopping it around the networks right now as we speak. A bunch of different networks. Now, if people still well, wanted, could, could they still try out for it, or have you? Yeah, just just send me a picture and resume to glowgirls.tv, and uh, I'm I'm planning, I'm hoping to do a live show, but I'm I'm still looking for investors. If anybody out there wants, I, I really want to bring as many glow girls back to the Riviera Hotel in Las Vegas to do a live show. And uh, you know, release it on on DVD. But I, I'm in the process of looking for investors right now because mm-hmm. it's you know it'd be a pretty big expense to get everybody out there and, and put the show together with training and rehearsing and all that. But uh, yeah, so definitely, um, please send me your picture because uh, I, I, you know, a lot of the Glow Girls are still wrestling, but you know, I, not enough to put on a full show. I'd have to train some new girls, and plus there's a lot of girls out here that are already trained. They've gone through Rick Drayson's Wrestling School and other various schools around the, the L.A. area, and, and uh, there's, I've, I've auditioned them, the ones that are already trained, and there's a, there's a few that, that would make, I think, glow girl material. So I need uh, the auditions for the live show. I need about three or four new girls that, that have to be trained, and then, uh, yeah, my plan is, is to go back to the Riviera and do the live show there and and film it and release it on DVD. Uh, Van in the chat room, he wanted to know what was your favorite uh, memory that you have of GLOW. Uh, well, that's a hard one. But Donahue was an incredible experience, married with children, just every Friday night performing in front of over 2,000 people, they had to move us out of the Riviera Hotel because uh, the showroom that we were in only fit 200 people. And it got so popular that they had to rent a warehouse and turn it into our studio off Eastern. It's now the uh, Harley-Davidson store, if anybody ever, anybody listening in Vegas. If you go by the Harley-Davidson store on Eastern, it, that's where that was our studio. Hmm. Uh, is there any more questions from the message board there, Incher? Uh, or Barbie? Did Barbie think of a song yet? Oh, Barb's got to be I'm thinking a... of a song now. Hi, I'm Barbie. <laughs> I want to be a glow girl. I, I think know. Barbie has what it takes to be a glow girl. Oh, I could definitely do that. you got to get the like, picture in the mail. Glow girl? <laughs> yes. No? As, a ch- as a child, I was thinking either a glow girl or a lollipop man. Because uh, if you're a lollipop man, you don't start work till you're like 65. I want a which lollipop is a great deal. wrestler, glow girl, lollipop glow girl, that, that, or the chicklets girl would be cool. <laughs> exactly. Wouldn't the chicklets girl be cool? Yeah. There you go. Yeah, the lollipop. Oh, Barb, you got to Yeah, so you have to be a tag team: the chicklets girl and the, the lollipop queen, huh. lollipop girl. Uh, Mike here, he wants to know about, was there any rumors about a Glow movie, or if, if that was true or not? Yes, um, they were set to do a Glow movie, they were set to do a season five, and the distribution company uh, wasn't paying back our investor, Michelle and Rickless, so he cut off funding and filed suit, and that's the only reason that Glow didn't continue, unfortunately, it's a an upsetting topic, you know, because oh. everybody would have played by the rules and paid people that were supposed to be paid from the enormous amount of money that came in. Um, every, we'd still be on the air today, just like the WWF, but WWE, whatever you want to call them. Uh, yeah, it's, it, was, it, it frustrates me because, I, you know, being taken over the reins of GLOW now, I'm 
I'm kind of going through the same thing with, uh, not with Big Vision, who I'm working tight with on the reality and uh, all new Glow show, but the people that that distribute my show are not uh, not returning what what was brought in. If you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Yeah. I walk on eggshells here when I talk, but uh, we're uh, pretty good friends with people from Big Vision. Uh, oh yeah. A, a lot of people on the you show. Know Kevin. Yeah, Kevin Kleinrock, we've had on yes. the show a few awesome. times. Yeah, he's a good guy. He's our homie. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah? He's, what's up? Yeah. Sends us free awesome. DVDs. That's what, that's what I'm all about. Uh, yeah, great company. One. I'm hoping, I'm hoping uh, I haven't talked to Kevin about it, but I'm hoping they'll release uh, this documentary. That would be great. Because uh, they yeah, really a good product. Good. All their stuff's very, uh, it's good, it's high quality. Very well done. They're, they're very professional, as well as, Windows Productions that's doing the documentary. They're just a great bunch of guys that really love Glow, and, and they're putting so much time and effort into interviewing all these girls and, and editing, and it's just they're just fabulous. They've got such a great crew. I just I'm really blessed with it all. And, uh, and it's thanks to all the fans out there. You know, mm-hmm. if it wasn't for you guys, you know, they wouldn't be here. So thank you. Uh, Seven one eight area code. I don't know who this is. Who are you? Uh, just listening in. <laughs> Ooh, that's what? a good question, man. <laughs> so what he said? He said he's just listening in. He wants to hear us. Uh, uh, I'm sorry, I'm on a portable phone. I, I don't know where he's calling from, but sometimes it breaks up and I can't yeah. hear it. Our line must be uh, packed. And they can't get into the uh, stream. Uh, he's calling yeah, in to listen. Yeah, who is this? Tell us your name. Hello? Oh, he hung up on you. He hung up. There's actually been Pretty several good. of those. They call Rick. in. I go to call on them, and they hang he up. He gets scared. <laughs> Did he get scared, listener? Call us back. He's afraid yeah, of... Back. He's, Poor guy. He's afraid of... 718, call us back. He <laughs> won't bite. Yeah. I saved the telephone. Oh, my God, I'm on the air. He hangs up. <laughs> but uh, who else? Now, they want to know in the chat room what was it like wrestling barefoot. I Sally was the one that wrestled barefoot. Uh, I, I that was a lead if you ask that she should know. Yeah, because I had a my ankle was is the weakest part of my body, so um, I would wear little white tennis shoes with little socks, and and sometimes I'd have to depending on how bad my ankle was, I'd have to wrap it up. Mm-hmm. All right, I think Barbie has prepared his song. Right, I have adequate rehearsal time now, mm-hmm. so I'm going to blast it with a song for Babe the Farmer's Daughter. Me, 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 song me, me, me. Uh, that's exactly it. A little song by the Beatles called I've Just Seen a Face. It goes a little something, if you'll indulge me, like this. I've just seen a face, I can't forget the time or place where we just met. She's just a girl for me and I want all the world to see we've met. Na, 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 na. Oh, love it. Excellent. See? Thank you. Oh, that was worth the wait, Was that a Ringo tune? That was uh, quick. It took me a few weeks to, to write my rap. <laughs> oh, well, he just wiped this one for the Beatles. Yeah. On the spot. Yeah. I wrote that one. <laughs> <laughs> I also wrote Bohemian Rhapsody, but we don't need to get into that. Oh, <laughs> uh, We got another caller here on the line. We got Julia. Okay. Hey, guys. How's it going? Pretty good. Thanks. Do you have a question, Julia? Or a song? Or are you going to be too scared? Um, no, I have a question. Um, who was your favorite person to work with and why? Oh, that's a really good question. I, I haven't put much thought into it. I I liked working with, with all of them, but... Um, I can't think of one right off the top of my mind that... that Nanuchka, yeah, Nanuchka, because she's just was such she is such a fabulous wrestler that I always knew that I would be safe in the ring with her because she really knew knows what the hell she's doing. Um, some of the the newer girls on the block weren't as advanced as her, so it was a little bit more um, nerve wracking because uh, you know you're only as good as your partner and. And if if they make a mistake, you know, it could be a broken bone or something. So I, Nanuchka, and I didn't wrestle Attache because she didn't come back to season three. But like I said earlier, she trained me, and I just loved 
working with her. She's just such a great wrestler. Uh, but Ninochka, I did wrestle, and, and and Tanya, actually, the two Russians, believe it or not, yeah. Tanya and Ninochka were, were a lot of fun to work with, and I, I never had a problem or a nervousness about getting in the ring with them. So Ninochka and, and Tanya. I believe right, Julia you. is actually going to be uh, entering wrestling school soon. You're in wrestling school? Well, soon I'm going to be. I, I only went for like a one-day camp, but I really want to continue with it. So, Where do you live? Um, I live in Connecticut, and so I would be going to Boston. Oh, there's a wrestling school in Boston? Well, around that area is um, Killer yeah. Kowalski School. Yeah. Well, send me your picture. And resume, and I'll keep it on file uh, when we get the, the reality show together. And all, all right, I show. definitely will. Okay. Yep, thank Sorry. you. Okay, thank you. Thanks for calling in, Julia. Yep. Let's see here. Um, and a little Egypt had another question. She wanted to know if you ever had a wardrobe malfunction. Ah. Yes. Oh, and is I that going to be on the DVD? Oh, where can we get it? <laughs> Uh, somebody, I can't remember who, threw me into the ropes, and the ropes hit right above my top, uh -huh. and it pulled the whole top down. <laughs> the, yeah. Is there any footage of this? I, not that I know of, and I no. hope not. <laughs> no. I don't know. I'm I think sure I... there, there is. They got me because it was at one of our live shows on Friday nights. But, right. but uh, I haven't seen it. Yeah. And I don't know if the camera was right there or not, but I, I just remember going back to it just... Oh, my God. My whole top <laughs> came off. Is it possible to be embarrassed about anything that happens in the ring after that? Say again? Is it possible to be embarrassed by anything that goes on in the ring after that's happened? No. <laughs> no. That, that was bad. I don't know. I just, uh, I was asked to do Playboy 2, and I, in Hollywood and Godiva did it, but I, I said no. Uh, you know, I think the body's beautiful, but... You know, I, I keep it to myself or my significant other. I, I don't want it around. So, yeah, it was, you know, baby the farmer's daughter is not supposed to be ripping her top off. <laughs> She's the all-American girl. <laughs> exactly. Now, is there, um, like, uh, when the DVD comes out, is there anything on there you think that people would be surprised to find out about Glow? The documentary? Mm-hmm. You're talking about? Yeah. I'm sure there's going to be a lot of surprises. I weren't at the interviews for most of the girls, so it'll be just as much of a surprise when I actually get to see it. Um, but they say it's just they've gotten some fabulous interviews, and they're just doing backflips over it. They're so excited. Cool. Yeah. And uh, you check out GorgeousLadiesOfWrestling.com. And what was the other website? GlowGirls.tv. It's the girls. same website. It goes to the same. Yeah. Just, you know, some people can't spell gorgeous because not yes, all of us I, I, I know. Even I type in gorgeousladiesofwrestling.com and I misspell it. So, <laughs> you know, that's why I got glowgirls.tv just because it's easier. Right. It's kind of yeah. like Big Vision, Big Vision Entertainment. And they also have bvdvd.com. This is a lot easier. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Exactly. Uh, is there anything you'd like to tell, like, all your fans out there you never get a chance to say? Thank you so much, all of you, for your support. And uh, email me and uh, any questions after we hang up the phone here. If anybody has any questions at all, I'd be happy to answer. It might take me a couple days because I'm super busy um, <clears throat> packaging and shipping all the DVDs for the fans every day. And uh, I homeschool my daughter, which I have to go pick up in a little while. I don't know how long <laughs> you guys needed me on the phone. Needed me on the phone. But uh, I should have asked you that before. Yeah. <laughs> I could stay until midnight. Yeah. Well, we'll uh, let you go here. The farmer's daughter daughter needs picked up. Not yet. A few minutes. Huh. But, uh, yeah, any questions after we get off the phone, any fans have, um, I'll, you know, check at the GLOW website for updates. Uh, new shows. I'm, I'm releasing new shows all the time. So, uh yeah, just thank you so much, everybody, for your support. Now, how, how do they get in, co they get in contact you right off the website? Yeah, there's at the bottom of the page, there's a link to email mm -hmm. me. 
It cool. goes directly to me. All right. Yeah. Well, we're going to thank you for coming on tonight. All right. Thanks, guys. Yeah. Absolutely. All right. Now, go get some sleep, Barbie. <laughs> You're up late. It's not the end of my now. night. Now, listen to babe. Okay. All right. Mm-hmm. Thanks, guys. Yeah. <laughs> Just keep here for a second. Yeah. Hey, everybody. This is Rockin' Robin, former WWF Women's World Champion, and you're listening to InYourHeadOnline.com. <laughs>